sulfuric acid, a very important chemical substance. It is used in the preparation of fertilizers like ammonium sulfate. It is also used in detergents, dyes and pharmaceutical purposes. And it is a very important industrial chemical. Some other uses of sulfuric acid we'll see. And let's see how we prepare sulfuric acid at an industrial level. So sulfuric acid is an industrial chemical. It's used in drugs, in the formation of paints, and as an explosive. So these are the different uses of sulfuric acid. This is the industrial setup. So these are the different units required. First, we carry out the burning of sulfur. So the first step in the industrial preparation of sulfuric acid is the burning of sulfur. So sulfur burns in oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. Then is the catalytic conversion. This chamber is a catalytic converter. So from the catalytic converter, we mean there is a need of a catalyst for a conversion. So the catalyst used is generally platinum or vanadium pentoxide. So in this catalytic converter, sulfur dioxide is made to react with oxygen. It is converted to sulfur trioxide. And the catalyst used in industries is vanadium pentoxide. Finally, there are absorption towers. In this absorption towers, sulfur trioxide is absorbed in water to form sulfuric acid. So let's summarize. First, in the first step, sulfur is burned in the presence of oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. Then sulfur dioxide is made to react with oxygen in the catalytic converter using vanadium pentoxide as the catalyst. Then there are absorption towers in which sulfur trioxide is absorbed in water to form sulfuric acid. And then the further concentration of sulfuric acid is changed to make it ready for sale. So this is the industrial preparation of sulfuric acid. Let's revise the process. So first, we burn sulfur in the presence of oxygen. So sulfur reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. We have to prepare this sulfur dioxide. It can also be prepared from the sulfides. For example, we can also use iron sulfide. When this reacts with oxygen, it forms iron oxide, that is Fe2O3, and releases sulfur dioxide gas. So we can use either of the two for preparation of sulfur dioxide. Next, this sulfur dioxide is made to react with oxygen in the presence of catalyst, platinum or vanadium pentoxide. The temperature required is around 400 to 450 degrees Celsius. This is a reversible reaction as these reactants can give this product and this product also gives back the reactants. Now, in the second step, using the catalytic converter, sulfur dioxide is converted into sulfur trioxide. Now, this sulfur trioxide can either be directly converted into sulfuric acid or we first change it into oleum. So, first we make sulfur trioxide react with dilute sulfuric acid. It gives H2S2O7, which is oleum. When this oleum is absorbed in water, it gives concentrated sulfuric acid. So we can either directly change sulfur trioxide into sulfuric acid, but in that case, the concentration is not as high as we get by this process. So in this, we first change sulfur trioxide into oleum by using dilute sulfuric acid, and then this oleum is absorbed in water to give concentrated sulfuric acid. So this is the industrial preparation of sulfuric acid and this process is known as contact process for the preparation of sulfuric acid. 
the industrial method of preparation of sulfuric acid is known as so the method of preparation of sulfuric acid at the industrial scale is known as contact process So in contact process first sulfur is converted into sulfur dioxide then we use the catalyst vanadium pentoxide or platinum sulfur dioxide is converted into sulfur trioxide and then we change the sulfur trioxide into oleum by using dilute sulfuric acid and this oleum is absorbed in water to form concentrated sulfuric acid this process is known as contact process so the properties of sulfuric acid pure sulfuric acid is colorless odorless it's slightly sour in taste again a word of caution do not taste the sulfuric acid and it is slightly soluble in water <clears throat>